Hi there, this is Lee Posky. Today I'm going to speak to the contrast between the regenerate saint versus the vain imagination of unregenerate babblers, whether it be the non-professing Christian or the will-worshipping Arminian idolaters who put faith in their decision, reasoning, intellect, and morality. Listen to what God tells us in Scripture in Proverbs 14, 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You see, those who are not born again by the Spirit of God, they make lies to themselves their refuge. I'm okay with God. I'm not going to hell. Listen to what Isaiah 28, 15 through 17 says. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet, and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters shall overflow the hiding place. We born-again Christians, we who have the indwelling Spirit of God, we understand these sort of distinctions in the spiritual world that's all around us. Listen to what 1 Corinthians 2, 11-16 says, For what man knoweth the things of a man? save the spirit of man which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ." You see, brokenness and sin guilt, then comes grace and peace of Christ. That's the order of things in spiritual birth. Listen to Isaiah 6, 5. Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. 1 John five nineteen through 21 says this, and we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And we know that the Son of God is come, and hath given us an understanding, that we may, excuse me, that we may know him that is true, and we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. And this is what differentiates the spirit from the regenerate Christian, from the unregenerate non-Christian. And so I hope this, this message has helped you today. It's been something that's very close to my heart, and I must share this. All right, well, I thank you for sharing some of your valuable time with me. And all glory to the risen Lord Jesus Christ, and no glory to us whatsoever. Bye-bye.